down. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care, everyone. He always struggles with these launcher birds, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I would let him work it out right now. If he gets, back. if he starts sucking to the fire station, I would not. I would handle that. That's a good turn. Whenever it is. She's not even putting her nose down. Uh -uh. She is a little bit. He's right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Put your hand down. Oh, I it looks like he's sucking. Get ready. Get ready to turn around. I'll do it right now. He's not going to stop. No, <laughs> no. It, it flew a little bit better. Just, that's good. That's learning right there. You, know? you would have loved to see him smash it. But it didn't go out as far. You probably learned more doing really? that. You know? right. Now you got to go back to the fire. Yeah. That's right behind the left there. Please, 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 you got it. Wind it. Good mark. It didn't go that far. Did it just go kind of high? Mm -hmm. Hey Rob, I would have, uh, I would have either just tooted him in, tooted him in, or gotten gunner help on that. Based off of what we talked about on Tuesday. Yep. On which one? I think I'm You're the, retired. Yeah. Instead of handling him over? Yeah. yeah. He popped a few times. Not the last train, but the train four feet. Okay. Yeah. You want him as relaxed as you can have him. Yeah.
gotta change the number. You have one on two and two on. Fifty one. Start. When I on the first one she told me it was on it was on number one. And I couldn't get it to file number one, so I moved it to two, and it shot on two, and then this one I had it on two, and I had to move it back on one. Oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he's in good shape. He just likes running the bank a little bit more. He gets up right to the water, and he does a lot of, well, I, I'm not sure where I want, just get in, go straight. I, I, I would stop doing cheaty shit. Really? Just make it black and white. Don't make him make a choice. So he gets more momentum. Well, gets... I think that the more, the more black and white you make it in that instance, the more they're going to seek water. They don't have the opportunity to cheat, right? Well, yeah, yeah. So, you know, does it, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yep. So they don't have to think as much when they're. And then when you do cheaty stuff, they're going to naturally take a little bit more water, and if you don't then you get a correction. God! Because corner cutter stuff, like that right there, is a corner cutter. You're in, you're basically going, I dare you to cheat. I dare you to cheat. And that's not what, for my young dog, for sure, that's not what you, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to put that in the red. Corner cutters are going to be... You, you got to learn how to. I mean, that's a that's a skill you have to have. Have to, yeah. You can't you can't not have that skill. But would you agree that the more black and white stuff you set up on water, the more honest the dog's going to be on corner cutting stuff? It's definitely going to help. Yeah. But, but what you've got to do though is what you. You want to throw the blind, throw the mark, run the blind, and then come back. Yes, sir. Like these are tricky. You think it's straightforward? They get stuck around those corners. Oh, man, I'd, I'd, I'd work some sit to the pile and tighten that sit I, up. And so I've, I've got to get back to it. He's, it's been a real problem. Yeah. And I think I his basics. I don't think I realized how much that was going to burn me. Yeah. So I don't think I was as good. And I've gone back a few times and I'd get the rope I, and I'd get the collar and I'd. Did he get pressure there? No. Uh, no. When when you blow the sit whistle, that come in whistle. Feel. Yes. Back there, where where he's out of sight, you're telling him to hunt, not to come in. Well, I have two different ways I blow it. Yeah. I'll, I'll good explain. Luck, good luck with that. Sit. Sit. He's locked on. Should I try and send him with that? No. No. That's not the goal. Tom, step out, please. Sit. There you go. Tell me. All right, there you go. Retire him first, no. Fuck! Retire, please. Let him go. 
I guess you just have to get out early. That's what they do over there. Let him go. You want to work on retired guns and momentum and not popping, and, the, and if you blow a whistle now, you're going to break down everything else that you got. Yeah. He's going to see the gun over there, and he's going to run. There you go. Well, he found the gun. There's a little bit of drag back there. So he just, he it. Now, you do this two or three times and get some confidence on the momentum going out there, then you leave him retired. And then once you start leaving him retired and he goes out there and he does this, that, what he's doing right now, then you start handling him to it and making him take the better line. Yeah, get him. It's got to be a process to it. You can't, you can't just go, well, that's not where the bird is. What's the goal right now? The goal is momentum on long retired marks. He never checked up. He never really slowed down. He didn't run right at the bird. And that's not what the ideal thing that we're looking for. But we're taking off little bites of the elephant one at a time, right? Yeah, it changed. Oh, stop him, stop him, stop him. You can't, you can't have that. Tom, step Tom, out. Tom, well, hold on, hold hey, on, let Tom come hey, out. Tom. There you go. Yep. Good. You missed it by like six inches three times. That's why I think sometimes he doesn't turn on his nose. You got a snow check? You know, an area marking drill might be good for him. When it cools off. Yeah. It's too hot to do it now, but yeah. But if that's an issue that he's had, an area marking drill would be super good. Alright, so I do think he pulls this trap like he just did here. Kind of like, I'll come back and I'll kind of head a little bit toward that old wall. I'm well, not doing anything. And he's taking more water. Yeah. Right? But don't don't ever take your eye off him on that because yeah. what if that bird's still on the ground? No, here. Recently, recently. Sit. I'll move. Back there. Fuck. That's what we're looking for. All right, now you can't, you can't get on. Right. You can't get on him now. Yeah. Right, because he got in. He got took water. I want to see in his momentum that he needs a yep. driver. She just got to let me know. And you can't get on him about that either because it's too technical to do that. Yeah. And you're just like, you do what I wanted, I'll let you go. Just don't let him, uh, I think he's going to do it from here. Just don't let him get out behind you, please. I thought it was a great time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that was great. But there was no response either. You're right, you're right. So that tells me that if you got him at a 60 or 70 or whatever it was, that the response was good got what you needed I think you hit him hard enough to not have to do that anymore right get ready to throw a driver bird please he's about to come out in about like 10 seconds five seconds and he's right at you you think he'll need it maybe why not give it to him yeah all right he's coming out right now get ready in your hands now because we can't see him. And I try to make him come back as much of that line as he can. Even try to get him to take this little horseshoe of water that he missed on the way out. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, on the way back? Just right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, this, you see the island of, uh, yep. yeah, yep. that hills. If you can get him to take that, and then take that. He, his deal, I don't know how cheap he is, really. I think he just doesn't like the angles. Yeah, he doesn't, because sometimes he won't, he'll, he'll, he'll take it, and then other times he'll cheat, like, and I'm not ready for it. I'm like, shit, because he'll always be ready for it. Yeah. You're right, <laughs> you're right. Another thing I'm doing wrong. Never trust them, ever. Do you have it or not? Rob, you want me to film them? Did you hear him? He said, get right here. Yeah. Well, that pretty good. You know what I'm going to do is that then it's for you. Swim by, swim by, by tune-up. Yeah. That's what he That's needs. That's good. He needs that. I need to do some tune-up drills, angles, work angles and all that. are going to figure out in the next few days when you're coming back again. <laughs> you know that? Got a boy. That water is warm though. Feel. 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 There you go. Right there. Sit. Just hold him back. Thirteen. Oh. Just let him let him bounce off. He's gonna push off of that. Yep. Perfect. That's why we moved over here. Take that up. Now he might run that other channel. That don't let him do that. Ah! But at least it's good that he he thought about it, right? Yeah. And that's that's the hard part on this is you can't see. And maybe it was what you had me do before too. You had me get him before. Then maybe you made him think. Say that again. I know where the bird is, I just gotta get there. And it's right? kinda helping him because it's blowing in his face too, right? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but still he made a good choice. Oh, there you go. That was good. There you go, man. That's the whistle. See how he turned and got in? Yeah, but he got the bird. It's because he had the bird. It's not like he was <laughs> running just away. Because he's shitty on one of the feet on the way down. No. Hey, Rob. You're not giving it to me? No. <laughs> not giving it to me either? <laughs> You're gonna regret that. No, I just, I love it. You guys always challenge me. There's, okay. there, there's, there's a come in whistle and then there's here. And that's yeah. all there is. Yeah. Right? When you, when you blow that come in whistle, if he doesn't have the bird, it's telling him you hunt till you bind it. Now, now, when he gets it like that, I, I do agree that a yeah. come in whistle, whether you blow it hard or you blow it soft, helps him come back on a more straight hunt. Absolutely. Okay. It helps him find you. Yes. Okay. Yes. It helps him find you. Yes, sir. We all started that way. <laughs> What's that? We all started that way. And how, how do you know? How do you know we know not to do that shit anymore? It's true. Somebody, You're like, I mean, didn't right? Didn't we all start that somebody way? Somebody had their foot in my ass doing this the whole time. Oh, Stop doing that. Stop doing totally that. All right. Okay. Okay. Deal. Deal. Yeah. Get him to 
field just a little bit more. He's lined up to the left of the gun. Get the bird now, I'll just wind it probably. I mean, there's nothing you're gonna do now. So. Yeah, I just winded it. All right, it, it, it's a effort thing. You can't confuse effort with running hard. Right. Because he runs hard. So if you can, if you that's go, the hardest, oh, that's the hardest thing for me if it's a hard running dog, I think. Is. No, man, I'm gonna repeat that. No, if it's effort. He doesn't have to vocalize. Dan told him, like, his trigger's not a big vocalizer. Well, he didn't. He, but he need to feel the pressure. If I give you a cast, you've got one chance to take that cast. Right. Because if I blow a whistle, you're messing up anyway. So you get one cast, and then if you don't take that cast, we don't have a talk. 
and it doesn't have to be life altering just nibble away at it but he's got to give you more like if if and and when you when you get a correction this is a lot so bear with no fucking let him take let him swim let him swim okay. yeah when you when you get a correction you want to give less cast because they're going to take more they should over top right okay dan put it best to me when he compared it to children right he was like if the kid eats a cookie out of the cookie jar and his dad says don't ever do that again okay he's probably gonna eat another cookie if the dad and we can't do this anymore right but if the dad whips his ass with a belt is he gonna fucking put his hand in the cookie jar next time less likely there's yeah. he's probably gonna be like, there's bad consequences for that shit so i don't even think it's worth it to try to even try to get a cookie i'm gonna tell you the first time but yeah. after I tell you, don't put your hand in the cookie jar. If I have to tell you again, yeah. there's a bad consequence yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah. Right? You were so right because I turned that up. Mm -hmm. and there wasn't any. There's no vocalization. He's, like, he, he's, he's not made of china. Sick. He's not made of cast iron either. He's don't right. confuse the but, two. But you're right. You're right. And it was, you're, you're the, and that's what you, you know, that's why I appreciate it. Because I'm like, I get, you know, you get in your own head about, oh, it's a certain way. And then you're like. No, no, no one wants to just rip on their dog and throw yeah. them in. It's not fun. I mean, we've all done it, right? We've done it because they deserve it. We've done it because we're angry. We've done it for a number of different yeah. reasons. You wish they could all work on one. But that's the thing. That Richard and I, man, we, we discuss this stuff so much. We talk about the philosophy of it. And there's not a right way and a wrong way to do this. But once you learn the behavior of the dog and what to expect before and after a correction, it makes life a lot easier because you know instead of giving this, Especially if 